Hello, I had started this channel about a month back to offer you snippets in that stream called marketing and I'm delighted to inform you that in this short span of time, the channel has garnered 500 plus subscribers and 5000 plus views. I'm privileged and humble. I now start a new learn chain series in analytics where we'll try to learn analytics through a chain of small snippets. Marketing, they say, is a touch of madness. Some would say a touch of genius and I think both mean the same. Analytics is the method behind that madness. Marketing as a science is over 100 years old. The conceptualization can be credited to Frederick Taylor, the father of scientific management. The art got perfected by the automobile industry and by Henry Ford in the beginning of the 20th century. Decades later, the dissemination of marketing was perfected by Professor Phil Kotler of Kellogg and the books written by Kotler are considered the Bible in marketing. I was lucky enough to meet Dr. Kotler twice in my lifetime and the Rabon which I would have had has enabled me to continue dissemination through this YouTube channel. Analytics as we know it is this millennium's child. The streams of platforms that have integrated together to create analytics are all fairly new. LinkedIn was born in 2003, Facebook in 2004. The mother of analytics, Google Analytics was born in 2005 and so was YouTube again in 2005. 2006 saw the tweets being born, big data in the form of Hadoop being born, Amazon Web Services being born, and then in 2007 iPhone, then cloud computing, then virtualization, then IoT, all these things have added together to create that new stream which we know today as analytics. This particular video is just a curtain raiser on analytics and we try to explicate the understanding over four levels of layered learning. What? are these four levels of layered learning. Layer number one is the business layer. The driving layer divided into domains like automotive, healthcare, energy, retail, etc. And then the functions, the core function that we talk about is marketing. The other functions are finance, supply chain, human resources, etc. That is what I would call as a driving layer. The layer immediately below that is the analytics layer, the inciting layer. If domains are verticals and functions are horizontals, then I would call analytics as a super horizontal. At the time of making this video, I checked the www space and there is yet to be a word called super horizontal. So let me take the credit for that. Analytics stretches over both domains and functions. Healthcare analytics is a domain-based analytics. Social media is attached to marketing. Risk analytics is attached to finance, so they're attached to functions, etc. The third layer is a technology layer. I would call it the enabling layer. You would have mobility solutions, cloud solutions, big data, robotics, neural networks, and the likes and that forms layer number three. The fourth and last layer is the embedded layer, the world of IoT, Internet of Things, with millions and millions of devices measuring things as abstract as position, velocity, flow, tilt, torque, magnetism, displacement, presence, leakage, 
vibration, weight, humidity, etc. Now wait. What are we talking? How does this connect with business? Let us take one percolated example. Take oil and gas industry and I would have an oil pipe which is running over several thousand kilometers and IoT devices plugged at regular intervals and these devices are supposed to check whether there is a leakage in oil. Now this information from a stream of devices suddenly becomes big data which I am processing from a risk perspective. So what I am doing from an analytics perspective is risk analytics and that would enable the smooth flow or the smooth supply chain of oil. Hey, there you go. Leakage, big data, analytics and supply chain. You find that there is a continuity in these layers talking to each other and creating a business sense. An interesting insight about the four layers are layer one is management, two is mathematics, three is engineering, and four is physics. You would see that the two extreme layers are full of uncertainty. The world of management is volatile, complex, ambiguous, and filled with uncertainty. So is the world of physics, as gloriously enshrined by Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, which talks about the position of subatomic particles itself being uncertain at any given point of time. So to move from this uncertainty to certainty, management schools have started moving from layer one to two to three. They've crossed analytics layer long back and they're slowly moving towards the technology layer. On the other hand, good technical schools who were originally competent in layer number three and four are now slowly moving towards analytics. Before we conclude this video, a quick comparison once again between marketing and analytics. If the cake is marketing, then the oven is analytics. If the product, the end, is marketing, then the process, the means to the end, is analytics. A gentle warning would be very, very useful here. Any mix of flour, sugar, butter and whipped egg will yield a quote-unquote cake. But then such a cake has no name. Similarly, any combination of data fed to a tool like an SPSS will yield some sort of output, but there will be no meaning for that output. In both cases, you need to know what you are cooking. As usual, we close the video with additional recommended readings. Trying to sum up in one screen, recommended readings for a stream as vast as analytics would be trying to sum up all the shots of Sachin Tendulkar in one video or all the good songs of Lata Mangeshkar into a single CD. Let me still try to make a brief attempt. Correlation metrics, confusion metrics, regression analysis, factor, cluster, and conjoint analysis, machine learning versus deep learning, classification techniques versus association rules, neural networks, the trade-off between bias and variance, supervised versus unsupervised learning. Well, these are some of the topics that we'd be covering in your favorite channel, Learn Chain, in the weeks to come. Stay tuned. Hope you like the curtain raiser for this new series on analytics learn chain. Snippets in both marketing learn chain and analytics learn chain will keep coming. Wait and watch. Till then, keep liking, keep commenting, 
and keep subscribing to your favorite channel. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.